Uh, great big bustards. They're birds, you know. Uh, after a... Oh, please. After uh, 150 years of being all but extinct, these bustards are making a comeback. Yes. Mike Dilger's come across them in the unlikeliest of conservation areas. You might find it hard to believe in amongst the tanks, the shells and all the army manoeuvres that I'm standing on the edge of one of Britain's biggest and most important nature reserves. Salisbury Plain, 300 square miles of wild grassland and half of it owned by the MOD. I've been given special security clearance to visit West Down Camp. I'm here to meet Peter Coates. Not the camp commandant, but a lecturer from the University of Bristol. He's working with the MOD on a project to understand the ecology of militarised landscapes. It's hard to believe, Peter, we're in England. It feels like we're on the Russian steppes or the North American plains. It's kind of conservation on a huge scale, really, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. But we are in the midst of intensively settled southern England. The wildlife is here in abundance, but aren't they bothered by the tanks, the helicopters, the shells? They're more bothered by the presence of people like you and me. Mass recreation would be much more off-putting to the creatures than troop manoeuvres. This place is intensively used. Most days of the year there is activity here. Full range of weaponry available to the British military is tested here and has been tested since 1897. The military is what I would call a khaki conservationist. They are defending nature as well as nation. Even the army's access is restricted now, as much of the plain has been designated as sites of special scientific interest. And these areas provide the perfect environment for the comeback of an extraordinary giant, lost to the nation 170 years ago, the Great Bustard. Bustards are the world's heaviest flying birds, and used to live on Britain's open grassland until hunting wiped them out. The Great Bustard Group are trying to bring them back to Salisbury Plain with the help of the MOD. David Waters introduced me to two rescue birds at his home that are not fit for release. Well, most people look at the Bustards and they think, come on, that's a turkey, isn't it? I don't think they look like turkeys. I mean, a turkey is round, fat and short legs. I mean, Bustards are tall, elegant, and I think they look very aristocratic. The closest family of birds to Bustards are actually the cranes which are I mean, famous for being so elegant and pretty. Is, oh, um... it's going for me now. <laughs> one bustard. Oh, oh, oh is that oh, a good that one? That one hurts. <laughs> I think we better leave before um, I get pecked anymore. Or we get another injury. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All the release birds are hatched in Saratov in Russia, where eggs are rescued from nests threatened by farm machinery. Some chicks are returned to the local population, whilst the rest are flown back to the UK to their final release site on Salisbury Plain. I really want to see one of these giants flying in Britain in the wild. So David took me to a restricted access hide. It's brilliant to see them in your back garden, Dave, but I somehow find it more satisfying when you look at them through binoculars. There's one bird already in here, Dave, without a wing tag. Um, he actually ended up with a, a fracture of a wing that resulted in an amputation. Now, that bird lives in the enclosure here. This is a wild bird. He's got a friend, hasn't he? One of your wild birds, which you, they're just hanging around together, quite enjoying yeah. feeding away naturally. So it's a ten-year project, four years gone. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be successful? Oh, yes. Yes. A lot of work to do, but I think the signs are so encouraging. We've got some action. Looking at those, that's two males yeah. and two females, just on the size. That lovely stripe down their wing is so distinctive. They're massive in the air, David. That is a wonderful sight, isn't it? As a birder and a naturalist, I can't tell you how excited I am to see the heaviest flying bird in the world back in Wiltshire. If it wasn't for the astonishing environment of Salisbury Plain, maintained by the presence and help of the MOD, they wouldn't even have a home to come back to. A mask, my new favourite bird, that is, is the mustard. <laughs> uh, Michael plays a big bird of sorts in the musical. Uh, I love what you did there. Hairspray. You like the link? Beautiful. Excellent. <laughs> yeah.